This is a streamlit web app that analyzes the factual accuracy of whatever you type in using a coordinated team of AI agents connected to the internet in real time. You enter a claim, like the moon landing was staged, and Langgraph coordinates a process where OpenAI and Perplexity Sonar independently investigate it using live web search. A final agent reviews both responses, compares the reasoning, and decides whether the claim holds up. By forcing disagreement into the open, the system cuts down on blind spots and hallucinations. The output of the web app is fairly straightforward. The agent team gives a final verdict, here that the claim is false, and provides a summary of the evidence across both the OpenAI and Perplexity agents. This strategy of multi-source verification has a range of use cases, from real-time fact-checking of political debates to double-checking AI-generated content for bias or misinformation. Let's start by taking a high-level look at how our agent works and how we can use Langgraph to create a structured agentic workflow. This is a node and edge visualization of how our AI agents will coordinate this fact-checking task. The boxes you see represent nodes, each serving a specific task or step in our agent's process. The lines connecting these boxes are called edges, and they illustrate the flow of information and decisions between nodes. Conditional edges, represented by dotted or dashed arrows, indicate paths taken only when specific conditions are met. So the goal of this agent workflow is to determine whether a user's claim is true or false. And this diagram shows how the agent team moves from interpreting the initial claim to rendering a final verdict. First, the planner node takes the user's claim and generates a step-by-step -step plan for how the web search agents should investigate it. Next, the perplexity node uses that plan to research the claim using web search, returning an initial evaluation. Then, the OpenAI node independently researches the same claim, again using the plan, and offers its own assessment. After that, the adjudicator node compares both responses. If the two models disagree, or if the reasoning is weak, the system loops back and reruns the checks, up to three times. Finally, once there's enough agreement or evidence, the system delivers a final verdict, along with a summary of the findings. The AI stack behind this fact-checking workflow is intentionally lightweight. We use Langgraph and Langchain to build the agentic flow and manage the language models. Pydantic helps us define and validate the structure of the outputs. And Streamlit gives us a simple user interface to interact with the system in real time. For the AI models, we use OpenAI's GPT-40 for the plan and adjudicator nodes, and GPT-40 with web search for the OpenAI fact assessing node. For the perplexity fact assessing node, we use Perplexity's sonar reasoning model, which is essentially DeepSeq R1 that is hooked up to the internet. You'll need to create developer accounts with both OpenAI and Perplexity Sonar, add a few dollars of credits to each, and create API keys. If you haven't done that before, I've covered the setup in other videos. Check the description below for links and walkthroughs. Web search enabled large language models can be slightly more pricey than the regular models, so make sure to set alerts and limits on your API accounts to prevent overspending. Once you have your API keys set up, you can prepare your Python environment. Create a new virtual or conda environment with Python version 3.10 in your terminal or command prompt. Then use pip to install the following packages. Streamlit, Langgraph, Langchain, Langchain OpenAI, Langchain Community, Langchain Core, OpenAI, and typing extensions. Next, go to your code editor and import the libraries and the necessary modules. We'll start by importing Streamlit, which we'll use to build the user interface. From Langgraph, we bring in StateGraph, along with Start and End, which are used to define the structure and flow of our multi-step workflow. From Langchain OpenAI, we import Chat OpenAI to access OpenAI's GPT models. We also import Chat Perplexity from Langchain Community to use Perplexity's Sonar Reasoning model for fact-checking. To handle prompts and responses, we use Human Message from Langchain Core Messages. From Pydantic, we import base model and validation error. These help us validate and structure the output from our adjudicator agent. And finally, we import typed dictionary, list, and literal from the typing library to define a strongly typed state object and use OS and JSON for handling environment variables and structured data. In the next section, we'll prepare the LLMs that power the different agents in the workflow. We start by setting our API keys using OS get environment, 
but you could also load them from a separate secrets file if you prefer. Next, we initialize the planner and adjudicator agents using ChatOpenAI. This function lets us specify the model, in this case, GPT-40, along with parameters for the temperature and the API key. I've set temperature pretty low here, to 0.2, so that the AI models provide more deterministic output, meaning they will be more focused and consistent. A middle of the range choice would be a 0.5 value, which would give you a balance between deterministic and stochastic output. And a one would max out the creativity of the AI model. You can test different values of this parameter and see what it outputs. We follow a similar process for the OpenAI web search agent, but with the key difference being that we use the bind tools function, which connects web search functionality to GPT-40. For the perplexity agent, we use the chat perplexity function, which takes the same syntax as the non-tool binded chat open AI function. Now we can define the core data structures that power the workflow. Adjudication result is a pedantic model that enforces a structured output from the adjudicator agent. It restricts the verdict to one of three predefined options about the claim being true, false, or the workflow needing to be rerun. This pedantic model forces the language model to stay within those categories, making the output predictable and easier to work with later on. It also includes an evidence summary and an optional dictionary of citations, which can later be used to show sources. Fact check state is a typed dictionary that holds the current state of the system as it moves through each step in the land graph. It keeps track of the original query, the generated plan, the outputs from both the perplexity and OpenAI agents, and the adjudicator's raw result. It also stores the final verdict, how many times the conditional edge from the adjudicator agent back to the search agents has looped, an evidence summary, and a log of messages. This shared state will be passed between nodes and updated as each agent completes its task. This section defines one function for each node in the workflow, which will later be chained together to run the full agentic process. We start with a shared prompt called communal prompt, which guides the search and adjudicator agents to apply consistent reasoning. It includes instructions like cite sources in JSON format, treat metaphors or exaggerations as not true, and use counter sources to test claims. The aim here was to use prompt engineering to prevent vague or one-sided responses. The plan fact check node is the starting point of the workflow. It pulls the user's claim from the query field in the shared state and formats a prompt asking the model to create a fact checking plan. We then use the invoke method to send the prompt through the LLM assigned to the planner LLM object. The return plan is saved back into the state under plan and also added to the messages list for later reference. The next two nodes execute the plan using their respective web connected models. Each one builds a prompt by combining the plan with the shared instructions from the communal prompt, then sends it to either the OpenAI or Perplexity LLM. The results are saved into the corresponding state fields, Perplexity, Result, or OpenAI Result, and also appended to the messages list for tracking. Most of the remaining code in these functions just handles formatting differences between chat OpenAI and chat perplexity. The adjudicator node compares the outputs from both agents and decides what to do next. It builds a prompt that includes the perplexity and OpenAI results, along with the communal criteria, and sends that to the adjudicator model using invoke. The model is instructed to return a structured JSON object with a final verdict, an evidence summary, and citations from each source. We clean up the response, then validate and parse it using the adjudication result pedantic model. If the model can't be validated for any reason, we default to a rerun verification verdict. The results are stored in the state under adjudicator result, final verdict, and evidence summary, and we log it in messages. We also increment the attempt's counter in case we need to loop back and try again. The needs recheck function is a simple helper that checks whether the adjudicator has returned rerun verification. If so, and if we haven't already looped three times, the system will retry the check. We then define and compile the land graph. Each node is added with a unique name, like plan node, 
and mapped to its corresponding function, such as plan fact check. This pairing tells the graph what code to run at each step. Next, we connect the nodes using add edge to define the flow of the system. From start, we then go to the plan, then to perplexity, then to open AI, and finally, to the adjudication. After adjudication, we use a conditional edge. If the verdict is inconclusive and we haven't hit the retry limit, the graph loops back to perplexity and reruns the web searches. Otherwise, it exits cleanly. Finally, we compile the graph so it's ready to be invoked during runtime. At this point, we switch to coding the Streamlit frontend. We set a title and create a simple input field where the user can enter a claim. When the submit button is clicked, we build an initial fact check state object using the user's input as the query and leaving everything else blank. We then pass this state into the lang graph using graph invoke, which sets off a run of the agentic workflow. When the graph finishes running, we display the final verdict using Streamlit's alert functions, triggered by a simple if statement that checks whether the claim was found to be true, false, or inconclusive. Below that, we show the evidence summary returned by the adjudicator, and then a detailed log of the raw outputs from each agent. Now go to your terminal and write Streamlit run, followed by the path and name of your Python file. This will initialize Streamlit in your web browser. You can then type a statement or claim into the input box and click Submit. This takes about 20 to 30 seconds to run. In testing, the workflow performed well on widely known factual claims. It was generally accurate and consistent. For edge cases, though, the agents often couldn't agree, and the system would loop without reaching a clear verdict. However, when looking at the detailed log notes, the adjudicator did a good job at understanding nuanced differences across the OpenAI and Perplexity Sonar models. If you found this useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more tutorials on how to leverage the latest AI and machine learning tools.